So we're so, so, sort of reiterating some of the points already made, but it is worth reinforcing them. This, this slide is a sort of graphic, diagrammatic illustration of the way in which things um, change at different paces. So here, a grid plan of a city perhaps um, unlikely to change um, over a very long period. Within that, the built fabric, the buildings on the streets, likely to change over a slightly more rapid cycle. And within the buildings, different uses that come and go, perhaps on quite a rapid cycle, certainly in, in, in city centres and commercial areas, obviously less so in residential districts. But even in residential districts, um, you know, things change over decades from being uh, mainly houses. For example, houses get converted to flats. And then um, in London, some, in some areas, um, houses that have been subdivided into flats have been converted back into houses again because they were built as the sorts of properties that could be converted. So, you know, different paces of change. Now, I'm going to give uh, fairly quickly a couple of examples of the things that change and the things that don't change in two places in London, one a, one a quiet residential place and one a, a, a rather central, um, lively place. And to sort of illustrate that it is possible to bring about change actually of everything except the buildings, let's say, and for that to make a really substantial difference. Here's a place, um, a residential suburb near Victoria Park in South Hackney, um, photographed you know, around 100 years ago, 120 years ago. Um, and all of the buildings that you can see in that photograph are still there today. And in the next picture I'm going to show you, um, all, all those buildings are still there. So shops with flats over them, or houses probably, on the left, um, more houses in the distance. Um, a board school on, on the right and actually a church visible just beyond that behind the tree on the, on the right. So this photograph was taken of this, from the same spot. Um, actually this area has improved slightly since this photo was taken. It's about, it's about 10 years old, the photo. The, uh, and, but you can see all of the same buildings and you can see that the public realm that looked quite agreeable in the previous image has sort of become degraded even though this is actually not a poor area, it's a reasonably prosperous area, just as a result of nobody giving a damn or, then, or there being nobody to sort of control what's going on or, or, or care about it. All of that could be put right, and it could be put right mostly by leaving things out and taking things away rather than adding them. Similarly, if we look at the entrance to uh, Waterloo Station, um, again, this is a photograph, I think, probably from the 1920s, say, judging from the cars. And there's the Victory Arch, um, still there today. Nice um, grand commercial buildings on the right, which have gone. Um, and a route from York Road up to the station, um, which is pretty uh, clear for pedestrians. Again, a photograph from the same point um, today. Um, the buildings on the right have been replaced by a 1960s slab block, uh, but I don't really think that's a hugely significant change by comparison with all of the uh, clutter that's been, uh, that has built up between the, view, the viewer and the, uh, the Victory Arch. And if you know this area, which probably most of you do, to walk from, uh, from where you are to, uh, to get in up that flight of steps through the Victory Arch is not easy. If you're able-bodied, no doubt it's considerably worse if you're not, if you're not able-bodied. A very unpleasant visual environment, confusing for visitors, um, and a potentially clear entrance um, has more or less completely disappeared. Largely as a result of a series of public realm projects, the spending of public money um, over the last 20 years or so, um, adding things which would have been better left out, uh, in my opinion. And here... Um, on the left, some of you will know this uh, public art installation at the way into uh, to Canary Wharf approaching from um, central London by car. Um, very amusing, but in fact almost indistinguishable from the image on the right, which as far as I know is not a public art installation, but a piece of uh, highway engineering. And I, I guess that's the point the artist was making. So, um, you know, in my view, we really ought to do better with these sorts of things. And they're things that can and should be improved, and they're not about knocking down buildings and replacing buildings. They're about producing significant improvements to people's lives, how convenient it is to use a city, what the city looks like that can be done without actually major redevelopment. Um, 